Welcome to our series on cruising, where we will be sharing all the information about the different cruise port of calls all over the world. Each episode will focus on a specific port of call and its facilities, the public transport availability, the time needed to travel from the port to downtown or city centre, whether there is free Wi-Fi, is it a docked or tender port, etc, etc, etc. Basically, everything you will need to know about the port of call that you will be visiting on your cruise itinerary. And hopefully with this information, you can better plan out your day at the destination. Before I go on, please subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. Thank you so much for your kind support, it means the world to me. Penang is one of the most popular port of calls in Asia cruise itineraries, as there are plenty to see, do and try out while docked in Penang. Also known as the Pearl of the Orient, Penang Island is located on the northwest of Malaysia and boasts a UNESCO heritage site just minutes from where the cruise ship docks at. Swedenham Pier Cruise Terminal is located at 10300 Georgetown. You can go to the description section below for the full address, website and necessary links. From the cruise terminal, it is a few minutes walk to Georgetown, where you can explore a 3D trick eye museum, indulge in delicious char kway teow, and shop to your heart's content. To explore beyond Georgetown, the Chu Jetty is a 15-minute walk or a 5-minute drive away. The Gurney Drive Hawker Centre is a 22-minute car ride away. Batu Ferringi Beach is 50 minutes by car. And the Escape Penang Theme Park, where you can ride the world's longest water slide, is an hour's drive away from the cruise terminal. Our ships will be docked at the Pier Cruise Terminal. Once you get off the ship, you will walk alongside the pier and then into the cruise terminal. Go through the immigration and customs before you exit out into Georgetown. There are several berths here that can fit ships from different sizes. Say hello to passengers from the other ship if you happen to see one when you are in port. The major cruise lines visiting Malaysia will usually make Penang a port of call stop. Royal Caribbean International and Resort World Cruises have ships that visit Penang every week. Penang's Swedenham Pier Cruise Terminal is not an embarkation nor disembarkation port for most of the cruise lines. It is usually a port of call for cruise lines instead. So passengers will get off the ship to explore the many attractions that Penang has to offer and then get back onto and depart with the ship when it leaves the port. As mentioned earlier, the Swettenham Pier Cruise Terminal is within walking distance to the major attractions of Georgetown, but there are also plenty of transportation options available too. There is a free cat bus that brings visitors around Georgetown with stops at the popular places. It runs from 6am to midnight, but do take note that the timings may change according to different festivals and activities etc. You can click on the link below for more up-to-date information. The bus stops that are nearest to the cruise terminal are marked on this map, bus stop number 4 and 18. Here are some examples of possible itineraries. If you're planning to visit Chu Jetty, after you exit the cruise terminal, take a right turn at the Queen Victoria Memorial Clock Tower and head towards Fort Cornwallis. Walk for about 200 meters to the bus stop that is on the same side of Fort Cornwallis. Take the Red Cat bus when it arrives and get off at the terminal stop Pengalan Wall. Exit the bus terminal, turn left and walk about 300 meters and you will arrive at Chu Jetty.
to use the free cat bus to get to Komta, Chaurasta Market etc. The bus stop nearest to the port is on the opposite side of the road, just in front of Bank Negara. Chaurasta Market is at stop number 12. To get back to the port, hop on to the cat bus at this same bus stop and the route will loop back to the Fort Cornwallis stop where you can then get off and walk a few minutes to the Swedenham Pier Cruise Terminal. There are plenty of private taxis and tour operators who offer their services as you exit the terminal. Rideshare service provider Grab is very easy to use and pretty efficient in Malaysia. When in Penang, we usually choose to book a ride using Grab as it is fast and cheap. A last option if you're just wandering around Georgetown is to walk to and from the cruise terminal. It's about a kilometer or a 15 minute walk to the famous street murals in Georgetown. In Penang, there are no subways, MRT, metro or light rail serving the island. You could either use the taxi, the private travel operators, grab buses or walk around. So what are the facilities available at Swedenham Pier Cruise Terminal? Free Wi-Fi is available. There is even a nice air-conditioned seating area for you to serve to your heart's content. Foreign exchange services are available in the terminal on level 2. There are several retail shops also located on level 2 that sells local SIM cards, snacks, clothing, etc. etc. Once you have passed through the immigration and customs on your way back to the ship, you can also find a duty-free shop on the same level. Within 5 minutes walk from the port, you can find food courts, coffee shops selling Penang local dishes such as Asam Laksa, Char Kway Teow, etc. As well as cute cafes serving cakes and ice cream, fun museums and plenty more. You can basically walk off the ship and just explore the areas nearby without making any plans and you will still have plenty to see, do and eat for the few hours that you are in Penang or hop on to the free cat bus, see which stops interest you and just hop off to explore them. Even if you just want to hang around inside the cruise terminal, it's also pretty comfortable as there is free Wi-Fi and convenient retail options there. Passengers arriving into Malaysia have to take note of these things that are illegal and prohibited to bring ashore. Number 1. Illicit Drugs Number 2. Counterfeit Currency Number 3. Indecent Printings, Paintings, Photographs and Other Media Any device intended to be prejudicial to the interests of peace of Malaysia Please refer to this website for the complete list of prohibited and controlled items if in doubt, self-declare the items at the customs and let the officer in charge advise you accordingly. So these are the basic essential information you will need if Penang Swedenham Pier Cruise Terminal is a stop on your cruise itinerary. I hope my video is helpful for your cruise to Malaysia. Should you have any questions about Penang's port of call, please feel free to let us know in the comments below and I will get back to you as best as I can. If there is any information lacking about the port of calls that you would like me to include, please do share them in the comments too. If you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and I hope that my other videos will be useful for you too. Thank you. Bye now.